Hi guys, my name is Stephen James Anthony. I play Billy in Warhorse, and I'm a guest reporter here for Broadway.com, and I'll be giving you a backstage tour of the Vivian Beaumont Theater here at Lincoln Center Theater. Come on. So, the Vivian Beaumont actually opened its doors in 1965, so it's a lot newer than most of the Broadway houses, which were opened in the turn of the century. So we're really lucky. We have huge facilities and a lot of space, which is unusual. This is the backstage hallway. Casting is over here. Here's a few uh, past productions. Um, my personal favorite's over here. Um, creepy Eyes Kevin Klein, right there. This is our call board, which is where we have all the information, uh, including house seat requests, um, schedules for rehearsal, sign-in sheet, and the most important one is this one, which is our physical therapy sign-up. And that's very important for fixing all of the uh, aches and pains that go along with a lot of the puppetry and physical nature of the show. Uh, in here is stage management. Hey, everyone. Uh, these are the multitude of stage managers on the show and our uh, associate director. Say hi, everyone. This is Broadway.com. Uh, so, is the show perfect yet? <laughs> Different every night. How do you like that? What a diplomatic answer. All right. So, we're making our way around all the way to the backstage here. All right. Now, we're just approaching the deck of the Vivian Beaumont stage. As you can see, it is massive. A, a really, really deep stage that we get to play in every night. Um, behind you over here are some of the props on show. These are the British Enfield rifles that um, the British soldiers get to use. Um, there's a Mauser over here, I think. Yep, uh, these are the German Mausers. And these were all built specifically for our production. And over here we have Topthorn, which is the cavalry horse, thoroughbred, and uh, co-star of the show. Um, Topthorn weighs about 100, 100 some pounds without a rider. And that is split between the heart puppeteer, who sits in here, and the hind puppeteer who's back here. And they all have these specialized harnesses in here that are fitted for each of the teams. We have uh, four main horse teams in the show. And uh, some of my favorite uh, mechanisms are over here on the head. Um, this lever operates this way. And then you've got the ear manipulation with these guys here. And then I believe we have another special guest coming out. This is Baby Joey. Um, I actually uh, was one of the Baby Joey puppeteers in the original production, or the original cast. I now play uh, Billy in the show. Um, but yeah, uh, Baby Joey is one of, the, one of the puppets that starts the show, which is pretty awesome. <laughs> All right, here we are on the big deck of the stage, and you can see the massive Vivian Beaumont house. Something like 1,100 seats out there. And the really great thing about this space, too, is that all of the seats are really close to the stage. We have a pretty steep stadium seating, which makes the space feel really intimate for a house this big. All right, and this is the star of the show, Joey the Horse. Uh, Joey can't really be operated by one person. You actually need three. But um, as you saw with Topthorn, you can see inside here, this is where the hind puppeteer goes. And this is how he manipulates the tail with uh, basically bike levers. A lot of the mechanics are bike levers and, and brakes, as you can see there. And the front, uh, the front legs, the heart puppeteer, every single time Joey lifts his leg, he has to squeeze his hands like that, which is a, a nice forearm workout, as you can imagine. This is one of the mustering soldiers. And these, again, help fill out uh, the bigger cavalry scenes. All right, now we're moving backstage to see if we can meet a few more people from the cast. Oh, hey Andrew. Are you taking a nap or do you want to say hi to Broadway.com? <laughs> Come on in. So this is uh, Andrew Duran. He plays Albert in the show. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Uh, Andrew's been doing the show just since this year. Um, and uh, have you been enjoying yourself? I've loved it. Yes, it's it's wonderful. Is it how, how did it, how did it feel to join a, a cast that was uh, already doing a show and, and jumping right in? I think in, in our case for this show it was it was um, very easy because we had you know as you know like sixteen new cast members all come in at once so um and then everyone 
including Stephen, that was here already, were、um, very welcoming, and we just—it was great. It was a fun time. Give us a reason why everyone should come see Warhorse. Oh my gosh,、um, because it is epic. <laughs> Lots of people ride these horses. It's very thrilling. We're really lucky we get to ride the horses. And、yes. I don't know、and、about you, but guns. I, yes, shoot guns. Yes. We, I, I, I feel pretty darn guilty sometimes about riding the horses because you know if you haven't been carrying yourself well、um, at the end of a ride because、uh, the guys underneath are usually groaning or moaning. Yeah. yeah, you hear it. Once you get up on top of them,、yeah. you hear it. Especially when we have to run and. Jump up on top of it. That's right. Yeah, he he gets to do a vault, which is one of the hardest moves in the show, where he just runs and leaps onto the back of the horse. Come see, and you'll and you'll get to check it out. Thanks, Andrew. Yeah, see you.、Uh, we can check out my dressing room, I suppose, since we're here. I think David's here, my roommate. David. Hey. Hey, buddy. So this is、uh, this is David Pegram, who plays David, conveniently enough. Yeah.、Uh, yeah. <laughs> how, how are you doing, David? You, now you've been with the show since the beginning, and you've been playing、uh, David since the beginning. How does it feel to be、uh, approaching a, a year doing this show? It's kind of surreal, actually. It's、um, it's one of those things where it's the time has flown by so fast.、Um, I mean, to to be in this position and have this job, I mean, it, it's been incredible, man. It's it's.、Uh, I hope it lasts for a little bit longer. Thanks, David, for your time and continue getting ready.、Um, I should mention, as you may have seen on the the, the door there,、uh, Game of Thrones is the the official、um, Warhorse Book Club book series. I'm dutifully、uh, working my way through Storm of Swords over here. Thanks, David. Yes, sir. All right. Anyone home? Hey man, you want to throw on a shirt and say hi to Bravo. dot com? <laughs> This is yeah,、uh, yeah, maybe throw on some pants too. Why not? It's a family show.、Uh, <laughs> This is Andy Murray. He's one of、uh, our our expats in the show. He's a real authentic British guy who、uh, teaches us how to be British in the show, and he plays Ted.、Hello. Andy, say hi to Broadway. dot com. How you doing? What's going on? So、uh, Andy's a part, one of the new cast members as well.、Um, I asked、uh, a few of the others, what did it feel like to join into、uh, a show? And ha- had you heard about Warhorse before you, you you joined in or seen it? I had, but I hadn't seen it,、um, and I saw it actually before my third audition. So I did two auditions, and I thought when when Marianne was coming over from London, I thought I better actually see it. <laughs> and the thing that surprised me was the ability just to create the role anew, you know. Given the freedom, it just felt like doing any other show where you'd create it from the ground up. No one ever said to me, "Well, you used to do it like this, or maybe you should try more of this," and that never seemed to happen. How are we doing our British dialects in the show? Rubbish. <laughs> That's what I thought. Don't、right. no、even talk about that. No, <laughs> terrific. Cool. Terrific. You never know what to do. Yeah. Thanks, Andy. All right. See you, lads.、Bye. Hey, Jeff. How's it going? Good.、Uh, Jeff, say hi to Broadway.com. This is Jeffrey Murphy. He's our our swing. He does just about everything. I cover like twenty seven people. And, and, and what are you doing right now in the show?、Uh, today I'm covering a combination of two different、uh, actors' tracks. What's happening is the guy who plays Ted, Andy, he's going into the role of Thunder. So for most of the show, I'm doing the ensemble track of Richard, and then when <laughs> when Andy is doing Richard's track, I'm doing Andy's ensemble track, et cetera, et cetera. It's a lot of Combinations of stuff. It's not not an easy job by any means. Except when I fall flat on my face. Except when he falls flat on his face, like he did yesterday, <laughs> which was hilarious. But、I'm, we're glad he's okay. That that was、oh, the main thing. That was the main thing. He's all right. Take care. Have a good show. All right. Oh, real quick, I should show you some of the costumes here. So check us out.、Um, the costumes, a lot of the army costumes were made in Pakistan, I believe, and they're all authentic World War One costumes, World War One uniforms, I should say. This is one of the sergeant uniforms, as you can see. Look at that! Get a real official crest there. It's pretty, pretty gorgeous, and we're really lucky to get to work with these beautiful, detailed costumes every night. This is our green room, and this is like 30% of the cast. Say hi, everyone. <laughs>、uh, so, guys, h- how does it feel to be approaching、uh, one year doing the show? Not all of you have been with it from the beginning, but how does it feel? Feels great. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank Glorious green room. And、uh, over here, this is Alex Heffler, who is another one of our horse puppeteers. Say、so、hi to Broadway.com, Alex. Hello, Broadway.com. How are you?、Uh, Alex, tell us what you're signing here. Well, I'm signing a torn piece of parchment that Albert, the character in War Horse, actually rips out of Major Nichols' sketchbook.、Uh, so we're going to sign these for Broadway Cares and、uh, raise some money. That's right. That's right. Because War Horse cares War for Broadway cares. cares a lot. That's right. Awesome. Thanks, Alex. All right. 
And we're at uh, the poster, which means that we're pretty much at the end of our tour. That's uh, most of backstage. And uh, yeah, I think you guys should all come check out War Horse and uh, help us celebrate one year performing this wonderful show. Thanks, guys.